All right, the kidneys will have tube-like structures. And so imagine that we're looking down the tube like this. This is a the kidney's not, but I'm, I'm using the idea. But if you were looking down like this, you would see this opening in, in here. And then the first cells that you see will make up these boundaries. So we're looking at cross sections of tubules that are inside the, uh, the kidneys. But now, the point is, here is the free space. And the basement membrane for this kidney tubule will be here, like so. Now, this kidney tubule, this is, this is one particular tubule. Here's another tubule beginning here. And so the basement membrane of this, the basement membrane is always opposite the free space. And so the basement membrane for this one will be in here. And the basement membrane for this tubule will be in here. Now, the reason that that's important is because the way that you're going to identify this tissue will be according to the shape of the cells that we'll talk about next in a few minutes. And in terms of the number of cell layers between the basement membrane and the free space. Okay? And so here, you see uh, these brown things are the nuclei of the cell. So sometimes you can't see the cytoplasm, you can't see the cell membrane at the magnification that we're using most of the time. And so to tell how many cell layers you have between the basement membrane and the free space, you kind of have to interpret what you're looking at. And so there's just one layer of cells here and one layer of cells here. And so when there's a single layer of cells, then that will be called simple epithelium. Okay? So epithelial tissues are named according to the shape of their cells and according to the number of cell layers between the basement membrane and the free space. Um, all right, now, according to the cell shape, 